Hey guys, welcome back to the shop and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and trim your vise on your CNC machine. You can see here guys I've got my oil stone and I'm pulling that out of the packaging and uh, you can see my stone has two sides, there's a coarse side and a fine side and of course when doing this guys we're going to use the fine side of the stone just gently wiping it from left to right hand side of the table and that's to take off any burrs or chips or nicks uh, on that table. Now don't rub this too hard guys, you don't actually want to take off material just ensuring that you've got a nice flat sur even surface. After doing that I'll give it a light spray with some uh, WD-40 and then a clean rag to wipe that WD-40 off and just get that penetrating on the table just to protect it. Now just to ensure that I don't have any lint left over I'll gently wipe my hand over the table or across the table, just getting rid of any lint or anything left on that table and uh, getting it off onto my hand. And I'm going to do the same thing now guys on the vise, uh, on the orange vise, just getting off any rust marks or you know yucky marks underneath there. Once again a bit of spray with penetrine, clean it up, wipe it off with a rag, And once again, guys, just uh, wipe that hand ever so gently across your vise. Just be careful you don't have any swarf left over, like uh, steel splinters or anything like that. Now, what you haven't seen, I've actually put a light application of oil on top of my table. And this will help me, uh, you can see the vise there, it looks like a little bit of oil underneath there. I don't know if you caught that on camera. So gently just lifting it onto, up onto the table. Now, this vise is pretty heavy, and I pretty much blew a puff valve lifting this on my own. Uh, and, you know, leaning out over like that. It's always nice to have someone else to give you a hand. So as you can see, I've got my orange vise back up on my table. Now, with this vise that I got from orange, it's too long to run in the conventional way, so I have to run it along the x-axis, okay? Now, there's some pros and cons about doing this, guys. For me, I'm a little bit more traditional. I like to run my vise parallel to the y-axis, not parallel to the x. But anyway, it is what it is, guys. I can't run it this way. If I did, I'd crash into the enclosure. Now, what I've done here, I've put the three fittings on that comes with the vise, the three little toe clamps. I'm not sure if they're the correct terminology, but I'll call them a toe clamp for now. And I've just nipped these up. Now, these aren't tight at all, guys, but this one here is tight. I've got two other clamps on the back side uh, from my clamp set. Okay, now, this won't be permanent. I need to uh, amend this later on down the track. I'll make some different clamps to get this vise more centralised in the table. So what I'm going to do now is put my dial gauge up on the spindle and I'm going to tram along the x-axis, okay, over that distance. Now I've got my jog feed rate down to about 20% here at the moment. That's so I don't smash it and crash anything. So my magnet is done up tight. I'm just going to tighten my little lugs here. Now this is not the best setup, guys. I'd like a better one, but as the old saying, beggars can't be choosers. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I'm actually uh, 0.6 of a millimetre out in par parallelism in the x-axis. Uh, so I'm going to work out which way to tap this now guys, okay? And uh, I'll tap it back to back to the zero and then recheck it. So I've stopped the camera and I've just given it a couple of little sharp tacks here while just taking the weight off the dial, okay? And I've let it come back to the zero. 
So let's sweep to the other side now and just see, have I fixed it, have I corrected it? kind of happy with that guys um, I'm seeing a little bit of a parallax error here because I'm looking diagonally where the camera is shooting front on um, from where I'm standing I'm mind you I'm getting blind as bad as I get older it look I'm pretty happy with that guys so what I'm going to do now I'm going to torque up these bolts okay to the correct uh, foot pound uh, or Newton meters if you're metric and then double check this guys to make sure that it's right okay so I'm going to jog up now to get out get away from it get in the safe zone, so I'm just going to take the weight off the dial. Rightio, so it's time to torque up those bolts now using your tension wrench. Uh, this is my really old Warren and Brown, it was giving me grief on the day, it needs a kit put through it. And uh, anyway, it's probably about 30 years old. Um, I've set the dial gauge back up again and I'm just going to take that sweep along now after torquing all the bolts up just to make sure that it is still in tram and I was pretty satisfied with that. The needle didn't deviate all that much really, all things considered. So look guys, that uh, finishes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, special thanks to our video sponsor today, ChipX and uh, thank you for joining in we'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye bye.